What's up for Mama's Geeky here? Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much all for taking the time to talk to me today. I really appreciate it. Um, my first question, I, I guess I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was going into this with like how heavy it really is. So I'd love to know how all of you felt uh, and really got in the mindset of being a part of, of Famous because it's, it's got some serious subject matter. Well, for me personally, I tried to remove myself from the equation. And every time before we started filming, I would actually get down my hands and knees and pray to God, universe, whatever it be, and say, this is for every male and female out there that has gone through something like this or is currently going through something like this. And I want to be like their mouthpiece. So I asked that that like energy enter me so that what I could give and show when people see this that it'll help make them think or get the help that they need or realize that the word no is okay yeah i think that's really well said brother i i agree with that i i my my uh i mean you guys gelled when i came on board you guys were like already like a family and that's what was so cool to see you know and that was uh that's what I thought was really cool. I mean, you guys were already doing the play. You already did the play. And then you were the same actors in the movie, which is great. You know, it's not like somebody recasting. Oh, sorry. Somebody's making coffee. That's that noise. <laughs> Don't take it personally. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, I think that's what's so awesome. And it makes, allows you guys to be great actors, you know, and it ended up showing in the film, you know, and that's what's really cool. And that's a, that <laughs> everywhere I go, everything sounds like somebody's making coffee, just to let you know. I'm not actually a coffee maker, but that sound just happens. It comes with the blurring in the background, actually. <laughs> well, I, I think I, I think what Chris is like a hundred percent saying is that like uh we all kind of as a group on this set, and especially when Chris came on. You know, the director, Michael Leone, was able to give us such a safety on set that like these characters were so deep that we had to kind of like be able to go within ourselves and heal the things that were, you know, really troubling us. And for me, um, I, I guess my character specifically and, and basically everyone's character in this famous has so many messages. But, you know, this thing about your inner child and how much struggles and stuff that it goes through. And once you get to like the older Jason and kind of once you get a few years older, you have to really deal with that inner child of what they went through and make sure that it's healed because it will catch up to you. So I think it's, you know, I think that's ultimately a big thing. And I think safety of allowing all of us to really go there on set and really go there and within ourselves and our characters and also trust each other because it's such a, it's such a difficult thing to like get the bond. We get to bond. And when I was on set with Chris too, we all kind of allowed each other to go there and not be afraid that we were going to fall. Like we were like, okay, we're going to fall, but at least one of us got each other's back and like Josh will catch me or like Brooke will catch. Like, it's just, just, it's just a beautiful set and a beautiful situation and a beautiful energy around it. Yeah. I like, yeah. And it shows in the movie when he watched it, you know, you see how strong, and that's why the cast is so strong, and that's why the direction is so strong, and that's why, you know, it looks as good as it, it I mean, it, it looks amazing, and it's because of the cast and you guys, you know, I mean, that's what's so cool, and, and made it work, you know, some things do not come across very well, <laughs> and this came across amazingly well, you know, and, and, and it's because of the cast and Michael and the vision yeah, and the, 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 uh, this whole subject matter, it's so heightened. I think the whole thing was, we were all heightened and we knew that this was a powerful and an important message for people to not feel so alone in the world and maybe being through some sort of situation similar to some matters in the play. I think we knew that and that gave us a heightened sense of uh, responsibility as artists. So uh, I think that alone, we, it gave us, yeah, gave us power, I guess. Tell yeah. the story. I mean, it's also, it's intense. Like I was into it from the beginning and then as it gets like more and more into it, I was like, oh, like I was getting like chills and I'm like, I'm going to cry. There's like moments I cried. I was like, this is like, a, it was a lot, but like so good. But like 
wow, I can't believe I'm watching this right now. You know what I mean? So all of you were amazing. Um, but I'd love to talk about taking it from a performance like on stage to being filmed. How did that work? Because you guys were on a stage and they were filming it. Yeah, that is that is the biggest challenge, I would say, going from a stage and trying to find uh, the the balance in which how do we how do we translate not only acting style, but the style of movement and literally everything has to be translated to a subtler, but still play like theater, theatrical, a bit larger than life performance. Um, we did the uh, I did the play for like around a year prior to this so that that transition I was again like we were talking about earlier the cast is we're, we're all so comfortable it was a family we were we were we were okay to fall and not really um you know dare to fail right dare to uh, fall hard and and figure it out together and I I think you know well theater and filming on film is can definitely be a different medium I think we all had the truth we all had the honesty and no matter if it's a stage play or there's a camera two inches from your face I think we were all so rooted in the message and the truth and the honesty of who we were playing that it it didn't matter what medium it came in as long as it came yeah hey I, I want to say like it was almost like uh like everyone said and to just add like we all knew each other and we also all knew our characters like weaknesses and strengths and what they were going through and what they were kind of hiding within themselves. And we also knew as like actors and as human beings with souls, we were all like healing stuff with this. So we were all like, like Brooke said, we were all like very protective with each other and kind of got each other's back. And like through this process of filming the theater verse play, like you have to kind of like, and I, I learned this through, and we all learned this through Michael, like you have to dare to be bad and dare to be ugly. And when you get up on that theater stage, like the second you get on that theater stage, you just have to realize like, there's nothing you can hide with the audience. So the second you're like face to face with them, you're like in a room with them. And like behind a screen, you can sort of hide a little bit, but right in front of your eyes, you have to really like give everything to them. And I think that helped so much when we got onto the actual staging and to film it uh, on a movie set. It was just like same energy, but we just brought more because we all had each other's back. So it was just a beautiful experience with all these. Yeah, I remember, I remember being there when I was working there uh, and uh, on that day and night and Michael was, it was so like such a the intimate surrounding uh, the, uh, you know, that I thought Michael was, was one of the actors as well. <laughs> because he was so involved. So it didn't feel like a separation of like director. And it just felt like it was all contained and, 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 and together. And it was really quite, uh, it was really impressive and, and really, well, I was grateful to be part of it, you know, but it was just very, uh, that was really cool, that energy. And that's what was really smart about doing that doing the film in where it was still, you know, performing, you know, mm -hmm. I remember you guys were going to do it, do it again on stage after you shot it. Yeah. As well, just because you wanted to, you know, and that's really unique. And that just shows how tight you guys were, you know, and that's really important. Most people would be like, okay, I'm wrapped. And they're like, no, let's, let's <laughs> do this again. You know, we really lo love each other. Well, yeah, that's, that's important to us, you know, that's also the thing, like what Chris said real quick is like what Michael was able to do with all of us as a cast, he also did with the crew too. Like everyone that came up on that set that was like a graffer, lighting, anybody that like walked up on that set, like they knew the message too. And they wanted to get it out as much as the actors did, as much as Michael did. So it was just like this huge family of love, support, and like just protection of this message. Mm -hmm. And having Chris come in, I mean, like he said, we were such a close knit family and he kind of came in and helped fill that out and was so welcoming and, you know, willing to take us all in. But that was a hard position to step into to this cast that's so like become yeah, members. Sure. And I remember, you know, sitting in the makeup chair and talking to you, Chris, and you were just so open and willing to be a part of it that it really was like the cherry on top of creating this project. So that was like, you know, a tough thing to slip into as well. So we are so thankful for him. 
Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, that felt like that. It was, uh, yeah, that in a way it was like method, very method, uh, my yeah. character and your characters, you know, because I wasn't, you know, I was an outsider seeing that, you know, the character Jason needed help. And, uh, you know, I was concerned. Not that that happened on set. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't concerned for you in real life, but you know but what I mean? Like, it fit. Yeah, yeah there was you know? a method. Yeah. <laughs> It was so like you guys were so locked in the character. It was like, oh my god, you guys were not really serious here. This is a big, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you guys were really doing it for real. This is a real deal. <laughs> well, I mean, it, yeah, it really comes across that you all like are these characters. And Chris, you were a great little addition as well. Uh, I know you hadn't worked with them before, but it was great all being together. Uh, they're giving me the wrap, but real quick, uh, if you guys can describe famous in one word. For people to encourage them to go see it what would it be visceral Ooh. Mm. Ooh. It, josh <laughs> <laughs> uh disarming Ooh. heartfelt famous <laughs> <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much taking the time, really. And uh, I'm excited. I hope everyone sees Famous because it was, like I said, it was intense, but I'm so glad I watched it. Right. Thank you. So I enjoyed it. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for Thank you so much to all of my monetary supporters, my members here on YouTube, as well as my patrons. If you haven't joined yet, please consider doing so. We have some really awesome perks, including a monthly Zoom meeting where we get to talk face to face. Thank you again to everyone who supports me.